Hey, welcome back to my channel. As you may know, I have bought some great art and art related supplies over the past year from Amazon and some of them are my absolute favourite. As it so happens, Amazon is having a prime day so I decided to make this video very quickly so that if you're watching it, you have a few hours to go and get any of these art supplies that you would like for up to 50% off. Obviously with Amazon Prime Day, it kind of goes beyond art supplies. It's discounts for people who have Amazon Prime across a range of different departments and different items but I'm just going to be focusing on some of the art supplies that I saw. If you are watching this on the day that it's released then you can definitely make use of these amazing sales that I'm going to show you but if not fear not consider this a list of my favorite or my recommended art items from Amazon. I will link absolutely everything down below in the description including the items that I don't have physically with me but I want to add to my wish list so check that out and enjoy the video. Starting off with some of my favourites, watercolours, there are some amazing discounts. I must give the caveat that there seems to be different discounts depending whereabouts in the world you are. So some of these will apply to the US, some of them will apply to the UK, some of them will apply to all over. But first and foremost, <laughs> this palette, which is my Winsor & Newton 45 half pan watercolour set. And in the US it's 46 half pans. At the moment it is, I want to say 43% off. And it's basically student grade watercolour paints, but they're very good quality and they are pretty much what I used most of the time and what I would have continued using were it not for the fact that I started a YouTube channel and started buying more art supplies. As I mentioned, that is the student grade, but they are also having sales on the professional grade. So I have two professional grades at the moment. So one of them is this one, and this is a field set, which is great for painting on the go. It's got a really clever and ergonomic design and I go into it in more detail in one of my other videos that I'll link for you as well. But essentially, yes, they are officially on sale. The prices, I'm not gonna lie, are better in the UK than they are in the US. If you're in the US and we're waiting for a time that you thought would be good to buy Windsor & Newton because it seems to be quite pricey over there, then now might be a good time to do that. The other, professional grade is this and this is the Windsor & Newton 18 half pans um, artist choice. It comes in a beautiful black tin and again available on Amazon. The next one is another Windsor & Newton one. It's the student grade 12 half pan pocket set. It's really cute, really adorable and at the moment it is 20% off. So again, if you've been waiting to buy Windsor & Newton, now would be a good time to do that. Sticking with the themes of watercolours, now this isn't the tin that it comes in, but it, I'll do it twofold. One is the Daniel Smith watercolours. In the US at the moment, they're like up to 50% off, which is unreal. Like <laughs> they are, they are more affordable in the US than they are in the UK. So yes, at the moment on Amazon Prime, they are 50% off. And I'm holding this palette because this is my Daniel Smith palette. I have put the tubes into here. And as well as that, another thing is these. So these watercolor tins are just absolutely adorable. They allow you to create your own customized watercolor palettes and to carry them around. I like them because they're portable, they're magnet friendly, and they're rather inexpensive. And depending on which set you find, you'll also get half pans included. So if you want to squeeze your tubes into pans, they are great. And again, they are also on sale. As you can see, these are my current Daniel Smith watercolors. On a by the by, as well as the watercolors, they are doing sales on the dot cards as well so if you like buying dot cards or you want dot cards that are specific for certain um, palettes then again they are on sale at the moment this isn't technically watercolor but it kind of goes in the remit and this is like my favorite <laughs> My favourite, favourite palette for gouache. It's an airtight palette that can hold gouache, it can hold watercolour, um, up to 16 colours. If you are enjoying this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and to consider subscribing as it makes a massive difference to this channel. And speaking of making a difference, thank you to everyone on Kofi who's supporting the channel, but not only that, being a part of the art community that I have created. There is a link down below if you're interested in joining and taking part in art challenges, getting exclusive videos, talking with other artists, sharing your art and so much more fun. It's similar to Patreon but better for creatives because it has less fees. 
this is the Paul Rubens watercolor set and it's the professional grade fourth generation it comes in this stunning set this set comes with 24 half pans of professional grade watercolors and again it comes in this absolutely beautiful completely unique tin so yeah if you've been waiting <laughs> now is your opportunity so this is their 24 half pan pink palette and it's their third generation i believe it's slightly older than the blue one and the colors are slightly different but absolutely stunning I, I mean i love their tin if you've heard about gouache and you've been watching youtube videos then you've probably already heard about the himimiya gouache set they are jelly pots which are absolutely adorable this is the 24 set which comes with 24 colors in 30 mil which is a whole bunch of paint also comes with a white palette which is very helpful and matching brushes and their brushes are actually quite quite nice surprisingly nice so i've already finished my first set of that gouache and although it is not my number one favorite it is very close because although the quality is different you get so much gouache which is relatively good quality gouache that you can really like learn the medium and create beautiful paintings and get more familiar with it and for me it removed the pressure of worrying about price and now it's even cheaper <laughs> It's funny kind of going through these things because um, obviously <laughs> it's all, they're all a lot cheaper now than they were when I bought it, but still. Watercolour adjacent is the Karen Dash Neo Colour 2s, which are water soluble crayons and they are absolutely lovely. They were one of my more recent purchases because I'd seen them on YouTube quite a lot and I've actually really enjoyed using them, especially when I'm painting or creating outdoors because when there's not a lot of time to pull out all the water and um, start painting, I was able to at least get some colour down with these and then go back and add water accordingly. So yeah, they are really nice. I'm very pleasantly surprised. <laughs> so as you may know, I was actually gifted this last year and it is, I absolutely love this watercolour set. It is Japanese and it behaves slightly different to our Western watercolours. So, you know, the Daniel Smiths and the Windsor and Newtons and the Schminkes, etc. But differently isn't bad. Different is just different. So again, they are really, really nice i've done a full review on my channel about them before i touch on some amazing deals on the paper i just want to take a moment to say that if you're watching you are an mvp and i really really appreciate you let me know that you're still watching by telling me what your favorite art supply that you've bought from amazon is if you've ever bought art supplies from them at all now let's continue and talk about some amazing deals on the paper plein air art supplies and so much more shall we uh shall we go on to paper i have a love hate relationship with this <laughs> i'm not even going to lie I, I really do sometimes i love it and the paper works really nicely sometimes it's just an absolute mm, it's just not nice and i don't know if it's like the batch that i've got or what but what i can't deny is that it is relatively good quality and these are the more skin watercolor sketchbooks and at the moment they are 55 percent off so <laughs> So I think if you were to compare them to other watercolour sketchbooks that are currently, you know, £8 or so, then they are definitely on top, which is why I am mentioning them in this video. But take it with a pinch of salt. <laughs> the Villa Rowney watercolour pad. This is the jumbo pad, which means it comes with 50 sheets. If it doesn't say jumbo, then it only comes with 12 but the jumbo pads and the normal pads are on sale at the moment. 100% cellulose, but I really like the way that they work. I like how vibrant the watercolours look on them. These are kind of like my go-to practice paper. Next, we have Paul Rubens. Now, Paul Rubens have both sketchbooks as well as watercolour blocks. Their blocks as well as their books come in a number of different sizes, are 100% cotton, hot press, watercolour paper and they are a dream to work in like I have really really enjoyed painting in it and I don't know if it's because it's 100% cotton or because it's hot press or whatever it is they quite often do deals and sales anyway throughout the year so with all these things obviously if you don't need them don't get them but if you are waiting to get them and you wanted to know a good time to get them then 
probably today today might be it because of the sales now pens wise i use my uni pin fine liners for the most part and they have multiple different sizes they are waterproof they last a good time they're good quality and they are on a good day very affordable anyway this is um art supply adjacent if you like and this is my pencil case now this pencil case i use for urban sketching the reason that i like it and the reason that i recommend it is because it has multiple sections which means that i can store things it's kind of messy forgive me which means that i can store things accordingly so here i can put my brushes and the way that i try to do them is i'll either leave the top or the bottom open so that the bristles themselves are protected but there's also slots here for paper my pencils are here my makeshift palette is here and so on and so forth so the reason that i like it is just because it's like deep and it has a lot of space so i can put my sketchbook my paints my waters my magnetic clips everything in here and then take this and go and it's small enough that I can put it in my bag if I want to um, but big enough that if I don't want to carry anything else I can just take it like this and go speaking of painting outdoors <laughs> There are a few things that I found very helpful, which I recommend. One is getting clips like this. So this is essentially a clip with a magnet on the other side. So if you have palettes like this, then you can just attach them onto your sketchbook or onto a board that you have. And I've just found it to be so, so useful to have magnets around in my setup, especially if I'm painting outside my studio. If placed correctly, you'll see the Karen Dash as well can hold so any kind of uh, metal tin that isn't brass will do and travel brushes you can use them for in the studio or outside anyway but the reason that I like them is that the bristles are protected so if you're not carrying the pencil case that I have you can carry these brushes put them into any pencil case and then just be reassured that the bristles are going to be fine and protected it has a hole at the bottom for ventilation and the set comes with three or four brushes depending on which one you get of three or four different sizes so these ones are the smallest sizes which i don't tend to use quite as much but the two bigger ones are pretty much always with me in my pencil case <laughs> i use them for watercolor and for gouache they're not they're not like specifically one or the other i think they're mixed media brushes funny little contraption is a foam camping mat and the only reason I mention it is because sometimes if you want to paint outdoors and you want to sit down and it's either too hot too cold or too dirty and you don't want to just literally sit on the floor you can just carry these which you see fold into quite a small size open it up and then sit on it it's waterproof it will keep you warm it will keep you clean and then you can just fold it up like that put it in your bag and keep going so again art supply adjacent but very useful nonetheless for all my ceramic lovers it's a meden or meden meden i'm not sure how to say it but they they make ceramic watercolor palettes or ceramic palettes in general this side is messy i'm sorry yeah so it's double-sided but i like that it comes with 12 mixing areas here and on this side is just a nice larger mixing area it's roughly a5 size and in my head i did think it was going to be bigger but this size has actually worked quite nicely because i don't have a lot of space on my desk so it was a win-win Daniel Smith watercolor ground again also on sale currently I think 20% off and for those who don't know what watercolor ground is it's essentially I got the transparent one but it's essentially a medium that you put over a surface and in theory it will allow you to watercolor over it so it kind of breaks the barriers of only having to use watercolor on watercolor paper and it kind of expands the horizons other supplies that I haven't shown you but I have seen were on sale and thought might be good to consider are the faber castell polychromos i'm not primarily a, a pencil artist so i don't have them but they seem to be incredibly popular and at the moment they are 43 percent off so i thought that it might be something that you would be interested in as well as that for those who love creating um, art videos as well or are thinking about creating art youtube videos as well other things that are on sale are the canon m50 mark ii i video on my phone but i do want to upgrade and change my setup so that is a spoiler alert as well as that there 
I use the gooseneck tripod to hold my phone up and to do my overhead shots as well. If you're still watching, you are most definitely a real MVP and I really, really appreciate you. Thank you to everyone on Kofi who's supporting the channel, but not only that, being a part of the art community that I have created and I really, really appreciate you. Like you see the calendar. Like you see the calendar. Oh, let's take... Oh. Can you see how hot it is? <laughs> this is actually unreal. <laughs> it's so hot in the UK. And there's like literally no provision. I have no power, a fan. I have no AC. You just literally have to just deal with the sweltering heat. Then consider this an insight into some of my favorite supplies from Amazon. I hope you find something here that you find inspiring.